we are at the Autodrome Naziel de Monza for the sixth race of season two of the SCR Red Bull Formula One series. I had to look at the schedule to figure it out. The number 88 car is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. will be leading us to the green flag. Stop beside him is the 27 of Roddy Spurley 2. The rest of the starting lineup for today's race. Ty Dent, who has won the last two races as Zandorf and Canadian Tire Mo Sports Park, will be starting 8th. He has a very peculiar chance of making history by becoming one of two drivers to win three races in a row. The first, Bulldog 67 in the NASCAR Legends Series. The second, Nick Kennedy in this very series one season ago. Nick Kennedy is starting 5th. So, Autodrome, Naziel, the Monza. First time we were ever using this track. 11 turn, 3.5 mile road course. Trey Wright won at Melbourne. Tony Newman won at Bahrain. Riley Spurley too won at Hockenheim Ring. And Ty Dent won the last two races at Zandorf and CTMP. So a who's who has already visited Victory Lane here in Season 2. Who will visit Victory Lane here in this first ever Grand Prix at Mazda? And now for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, stop your engines! The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems. Which is always a good thing. We always want to clean stuff. Well, why would I say that? Trevor Collins heading to pit road for some reason. And we're racing for the first time here at Monza. Crossing the star finish line. Riley Sproley Tube getting a huge push from Trey Wright. And Sproley Tube will go past Zachary Fitzwater for the race lead. Fitzwater settles back into second. Third is Carter Friesian. Oh, excuse me, Nick Kennedy. Trey Wright and then Colin Dryberg. So Trevor Collins on pit road for some reason. As Riley Sproley Tube takes over the race lead with a huge push from his teammate. Water back to second. Trying to close in and regain his lead. Sproley Tube has already pulled away to about a five car link lead. As we head down the hill and under the bridge for the first time. Through this little left hander. Down this little back stretch. Single file for the first, uh, actually single file for every spot right now. Everybody's just riding around, testing their cars out. Past the gravel trap. We saw a battle for position back here. Joseph Huffman going past Tanner Hill. Oh, we got another car that's coming to pit road. That is the 26, I believe. David Suleiman, yes it is. So we got two cars within the first lap heading the pit road for some reason. As you see the cars slide out of that turn. Nick Kennedy trying to make a move on Fitzwater, but he's too far away. Colin Dryberg in the, in the number six car currently in fifth. He's a former winner in this series in season one. Won at Mexico City. And Watkins Glen, I believe, was the other track he won at. Yes, it was. We will be returning to Mexico City this season, but we will not be returning to Watkins Glen. That track is off the F1 calendar, as the United States will only have one race. That'll be a Circuit of the Americas. Carter Friesen went a little bit wide there. Ty Dent looking to win three races in a row, currently in the eighth spot. Trying to do what only two drivers have ever done and league history win three in a row. You see Trey Wright making a little peek on Nick Kennedy, not enough. 
Of course, Trey gave that huge push to his teammate, Riley Spilly, too. And Riley with a huge jump. Already starting to pull away from Zachary Fitzwater Sr. See battle for position. Richard Torres trying to go around Tony Newman. Not enough. Back up front to Riley Spirley, too, who has a 1.2 second lead. This race will go about very fast. It's uh, only seven laps. We have completed two of the seven. We got five to go. Whoa, Fitzwater goes way wide. Almost smacked the wall. But he's able to maintain second place. Nick Kennedy desperately looking for a good run this season. Our season one champion has not been doing that great. By this time in season one, he had already won at Hungar Hungaro Ring. Has not yet scored a win here this season. But you start your season off with good finishes, and Kennedy, as of right now, has a podium. That's somewhat of a victory. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'd like to get second as he tries to get under Fitzwater Sr. Not able to yet. Off the final turn, Rice Really Tube will lead yet another lap. Back for position back here. As Richard Torres will pass Tony Newman. This will be for 10th. Tony Newman making the peak on Marcus Sasachi, not able to get around him. Of course, they are currently fighting outside the points range. Drivers one through eight are the only drivers that receive points, and that last point will go to Ty Dent. Back for position, here comes Roger McLaughlin, not able to get around Carter Friesian. The team car to Nick Kennedy. Under the bridge. It's probably too sliding out of that turn. This has been his race ever since the drop of the green flag. He got that huge push by Trey Wright, our Melbourne race winner. And the team cars are one and four. So this will be a good day for that team. An even greater day for Nick Kennedy. I probably just jinxed it for him, but he's doing pretty good. Battle for position. Tanner Hill trying to go around Joseph Huffman, not able to. Four laps have been completed. We got three laps to go. Oh, we got another car on pit road. That is the five of Richard Torres, who was in 10th. So we got three cars having problems. Very unusual for uh, this series to have that many cars have problems. At least in terms of mechanical. Oh, he's really too slowly making his rounds. He's got a 1.5 second lead he can work with. Everybody just settled into their own little groove, just riding around. Sebastian Torres back on 17th, the only Ferrari running in the race right now. Not a good start for Sebastian. We will have two laps to go. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. slowly closing in on Spurly Tube. Of course, we got to call him Zachary Fitzwater Sr. because he has a son that is currently competing in the Formula 2 division, who is already starting to make a name for himself in that series. Two laps to go. If caution comes out, this race will be over. Lead is now 1.3. Fitzwater gained two hundredths of a second that lap. Let's see who has the fastest lap. Be Riley's Charlie Tube, 
compared to Tanner Hill is 127.616, about a hundredth of a second faster. Riley Spurley tube. Slowly leading his this field through the turns. No challenge for the lead as he head under the bridge. No challenge behind him. As he slides it through the turn. Make sure up oh, Richard Torrey just got back out on track. So he will at least be running at the finish. I mean, he is outside the points range, but he will be running at least. Off the final turn. Riley Spilly Tube will see the white flag one lap to go. For Riley Spilly Tube. Entering this race, Riley Spurley Tube had three career wins in the SERO Red Bull Formula One Series. He won at Indy in season one and at Newenberg later in the season. Earlier this season in season two, he won at the third race of the season at Hockenheim Ring. Here in, and here in round six, he got a big push from his teammate Trey Wright that pushed him into the lead and passed Eric Fitzwater. Senior before we got to turn one. Scully Tube has led every single lap. <clears throat> and should he hold on for the next few turns, Scully Tube will tie Mick Kennedy with the most wins in this series at four. Slide to the turn. No challenge from Zachary Fitzwater behind him. They've all pulled away just a little bit from each other. No real challenge. And to the second to last turn. And to the final turn. He's gonna do it off the final turn. Riley Spurley Tube career wins career win number four here at the SCR Red Bull Formula One Series. Riley Spurley Tube wins at Mazda. Monza, excuse me. Rest of the field crossing the start finish line. And that is it for round six of season two. Riley Spurley two with his fourth win in the series here at Monza. Here are your race results. Riley Spurley two scores the win. Second is Zachary Fitzwater. Third, Nick Kennedy finally gets a good run this season. Fourth, Trey Wright. Fifth, points leader Colin Jabberg. Sixth, Joseph Huffman. Seventh, Tanner Hill. Eighth, tight end. Ninth, Marcus Sasachi. And tenth is Tony Newman. We had 19 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Richard Torres, one lap down. David Solomon had an engine problem. And finishing last, of course, was Trevor Collins. Let's see, where is he? Right there in the 22. He's not even being scored, but he finished 22nd, having not completed a lap. Well, that is it for Mazza. He'll take you to victory lane for the fourth time in his career with Riley's Philly Tube. Here are your points, standings after the sixth race of the season at Mazda. Riley Spurley Tube with the win is our brand new points leader. He has a one point lead over Colin Dreiberg. Third is Zachary Fitzwater, five points behind. Fourth is tied in six points behind. And fifth is Trey Wright, six points behind as well. Seventh is Sebastian Torres. Eighth, Joseph Huffman. Ninth, Marcus, is eighth, Marcus Isachi. Ninth, Carter Friesen. And tenth is Steve Larker. Eleventh is Tony Newman. Twelfth, Jack Halleck. Thirteenth, Tanner Hill. 14th, Nick Kennedy scoring his first points. 15th, Richard Torres. 16th, Bryanson Hill. 17th, Trevor Collins. 18th, Gordon Smith, the last driver to score points. 19th, Cassie Dent. 20th, Roger McLaughlin. 
21st, David Solomon, and 22nd, Patrick Smith, have yet to score points here after the sixth round here in Season 2. Well, we will next see you halfway across the world for the seventh race of the season at the Shanghai International Circuit, which was the season finale in Season 1. But here in Season 2, it is Round 7 for the Chinese Grand Prix. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.